street food made at home menu. Chibureki. It's in Russian. It's not a Russian food. I, as far as I know, it's from Tatar people, but it's very popular in Russia. And of course, Armenians love this um, dish. It's it's basically it looks very much like empanadas. It's fried dough filled with meat. In this case, beef. Anyways, what we need? It's um, one egg, a tablespoon of oil. I'm using regular vegetable oil. And we have secret ingredient, and which is also an optional ingredient. It's a tablespoon of any kind of vodka. Okay, this that, and this is a uh, we call this cooked dough, which means um, we we make this dough with boiling hot water. So that's that's called cooked dough. Okay, this is ready and I'm going to add my three cups of flour. I may need a little bit more just to make the dough nice and stiff and non-sticky. And to this I'm going to add my egg mixture and then my, my hot boiling water. And of course my salt and a little bit of sugar. This is this. Okay, I'm doing old-fashioned way all with hands. So, okay, this will... Mix a little bit and my hot water. Okay, so first of all I'm going to add my eggs to the flour and mix it just a little bit. I don't want to cook the eggs when I add boiling water. So this will be this looks good. Water and I'm going to uh, knead this until the bowl firms. Or the dough forms into a bowl. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit when the dough is ready. The dough is ready and as you see this is kind of really stiff and very non-sticky dough. So this will go back to the plate, um, the bowl, into the bowl and then I'll cover it with my towel while I make the filling. As for the filling, usually they make it with uh, preferred uh, to your taste, the ground meat. I'm using beef in this case and as far as I remember they would use beef for chibureki. Uh, and we need onions, salt, black pepper, um, greens to your taste, but um, I normally don't add any greens. So I'm just gonna chop it uh, roughly because I'm using my processor so and you want to have very um, watery very uh, loose filling for the meat that's how chibureki is it is usually very juicy meat filling inside and I probably add my spices right into the processor or you can just add it to your meat directly and I'm going to use just a tiny bit of uh, garlic powder, some cayenne for spiciness, any of your preferred uh, spices. And again, if you want any dry greens, I would prefer parsley, but I don't have dry parsley. I'll add salt right in there. All right, so I'll just mix this quickly. And yeah, I always forget something some water. With water it will mix better and it will make your feeling more watery. Just exactly what we need. So I'll mix this and get back to you. This is ready and this will go directly to our meat, ground beef. And I'll mix this and start feeling the Chibureki, or as if other people may know as empanadas, but honestly they don't taste nothing like empanadas. They look exactly like them, but mm, very different taste as a food. So, and I already started my uh, oil. We're going to deep fry them, of course. Full of fat, full of calories, so you prepare your workout list after you eat this. Okay, this is ready and I would probably add more water because we really want this to be juicy and watery. Oops. <laughs> Sorry Lucy, did I splash you? Yeah? 
<laughs> it's okay. Yeah. You'll smell like chiburiki. Yeah. A little bit more. Okay, this is ready. Out of the way. And as you may have already figured out, we're going to make a few portions of this dough. And I'm going to use this and I'll need a fork. Okay, and my... I'll probably divide this into, let's see, two, four, okay, this should be good. And I'm going to form into these into uh, small bowls and cover them with a towel so they don't get dry. And I'll start with the first one. Okay, I'm just going to roll this out into circle shape as thin as you possibly can. The dough is very uh, obedient, so you should be able to handle it very easily. I rolled out the dough into about 8 to 9 inches di diameter and I'm going to fill only one side, fold the other half and I'm just gonna cut it with my pizza cutter or any any way you can just to make it nice and even and then with my fork I'm just going to squeeze this at the edges to make sure it doesn't uh, pour out and this is going of course mm, mm, I'm going to fry this in hot oil which is not ready yet so just the reason I forgot to mention the reason adding that vodka in case you have a question it's for your dough to have more of those nice bubbles so but that's completely optional I'm, I'm sure you'll still have um, will end up in good uh, textured dough if you don't use vodka but I always use it so okay and I'll do a couple of more and start frying them I started frying this after I tested the oil and as usual you will drop a little bit piece of um, a little piece of dough and see if it floats immediately uh, you can drop the uh, chiburekis in and of course you will wait until it's nice and brown on each side nice golden I mean not brown <laughs> you don't want to burn this I'm almost done with this I'll just continue and fry the rest of this I will leave detailed recipe on my blog at herine.com if you guys have questions, comments, you know, I keep repeating the same thing after each video. This is very simple, very delicious, very full of calories, just a warning. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you next time.